That took forever. Mm -hmm. Hey, Meredith, we're live. Good morning, everybody. This is the Actually Just Region vlog. And yes, I am up. She did it to me two days in a row. Did she really? Nah, it was really my bladder that did it again. <sighs> and the notifications are going off. So we know, we know that we are live. Oh, uh, and uh, we are... Uh, slowly weaning ourselves off of Facebook. We are streaming to the Actually Just Ragin page, uh, which is our group. And uh, you can go over there and check us out. We also saw Animal Casting to Geek Insider and Ragin ABC on YouTube. And we're on Twitter as well. But if you're watching from Twitter and you want to interact, make sure you go to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. Chat with us. Hang out. Um, this is the vlog about... Everything. Uh, I don't have much to say today except keep it short. Rabbit, rabbit. Ugh, rabbit, rabbit. What the hell is rabbit, rabbit? <laughs> I don't know. But hey, we should probably play our intro. We'll be right back after Ooh. this. Right. <laughs> Everybody, let me drop the card here. Hey, hey, you, you look so pretty. What you do? I really like that shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, what are you talking? What are you doing? Shit happened. Carl, 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 while we got you here. So, if the 17th works for you, yes, it's a Friday. We want you, we can run an hour early. What time's the green room start? Eastern. I think 7 Eastern, right? Is it 7 Eastern? Okay, we need you and Aunt Donna at 6 Eastern on the 17th. Do it, Carl. Do it. Do it. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. For are an you, interview. Are you, I got their are shit Are you really now. booking somebody while we're vlogging? Yeah, why the fuck not? It's my show. <laughs> right? I do. <laughs> Look, like Jimmy says he got home from his side job after yesterday and all the shit. It's time to catch up on work uh, that I left laying around. Uh, yes, and it is uh, a good time to do that. It good is the morning, first day baby. of December, you guys. <sighs> May the countdown begin to the Don't end of the even. year. Mm. Yeah, you know, so it was like 2020 was bad enough. 2021 said, hold my beer. <laughs> What's that in regular time? What time zone are you in, Carl? Uh, let's see. A frog with a speech impediment. Uh, Carl says he can't stay long. I uh, have to babysit the naughty folks over at Brian K. Morris's show. Mm. I'm a whole conversation ahead of you now. I, I'm just scrolling through the uh, the messages here. Yes, I think uh, uh, Never Mind the Furthermore starts at uh, 10. So you've got some time. You've got some time. We're we're not going to be here for, uh, for very long. So yeah, 5 Central, that is 6. We could do it for an hour. We can do it for an hour. So that's 6 p.m. my time. Mm -hmm. uh, remind me, Nita. Remind me. Of course, I have to make the card, too, and all that good stuff. And I think we've got your, uh, yep, your it's all in the, press uh, kit and all that stuff in email. So in email. cool. Cool, cool. Um, so, yeah, rabbit, rabbit. What the hell is that? I think it's a good luck thing that people do. I've always said bunny, bunny, though. At the very beginning of the month, it's like the first thing you say or something like that. I don't know. I, don't know. I think it's I think it's odd. Uh from the desk of a small press publisher, Joe D. McBee's in the house. Greetings from the nine to five office. 14 minutes to my actual starts. Oh no. I don't want to be around people. I don't really want to be I around people. I don't want to be around either. people. Mm -hmm. You know what Nita and I've been dealing with? Broke ass chairs. Fuck it is my killing. life after this morning. <laughs> 
Well, I'm glad you weren't sitting in it because you could have buzzed your ass. Yeah, I really could have because it was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> it yep. was like it just died. It would have been like, like ass over tea you kettle. You would have just seen her feet up. <laughs> and all it would have taken was one more time. If my daughter wouldn't have moved it the way she did. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you're always leaning back in the thing. Mm -hmm. And all it would have taken was one more time because all she did was, Mom, why is it leaning so much? And then she just barely, like, and it, the whole thing was just like, it was like, all right, you motherfucker. Yeah, so, uh, and I'm in a broke-ass chair that is just killing my back. I mean, my lower back, my hip, it's, it's just affecting everything. So I'm shopping for chairs. I hate the fact that... I'm really not in any position to go out to stores and try and like walk around and test them out. So I'm doing some online shopping while uh, there are still some like cyber week sales happening right now. Um, I honestly prefer sitting in sitting my ass in one and just seeing, is this going to be comfortable enough? And Anything honestly, more comfortable than this, Meredith? Anything? Look at this fucking jury rig shit. I'm sitting. In. Oh man, I'm wired. Oh, I lost the uh, the USB port to my fucking, or the USB plug to my wireless headset. Oh. Yeah. And it's like this big, so I'll never find it again. One of the cats probably already ate it. Mike Jimmy says, thrift shops are your friend. Yes. No, um, they aren't. Not here. This, this piece of shit. Oh my gosh! I, I took the padding off my chair. You've got like the library. You've got like the library chair or something like that. Oh my god! It's so holy crap! Horrible. Yeah, and you got your little pillows from that. So, uh, I I actually my my last chair was a thrift store find, and it was like one of those heavy duty. It weighed like forty pounds, and it lasted a while, but then the seat actually broke. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> Facebook user, declare yourself. This is what we see. That's why we say head over to YouTube. I know who that is. Do Read the now. fucking comment, woman. Put what the hell? Carl mask. has been committed to a five fucking AM interview. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No. The no, only one of us that's up at 5 AM is me. Meredith's never up at 5 AM. I'm only up at 5 AM if I go to bed at 5 AM. Yeah, true that. So I vouch for that. Uh, has, that has happened. In fact, the only reason why I'm up is because I was actually up about 630 this morning. And, you know, like I said, my bladder was my alarm clock. And uh, hey, hey, Michaela. Hey. Yeah, my bladder was my alarm clock. And I was just like, you know what? We're trying to vlog a little bit earlier because we noticed that we have more interaction. And uh, trying to do it in between Michaela and uh, Brian K. Morris. So, <laughs> so far, it's nah, that's not going to happen every day, though. It it may not. I don't know. I mean, we can try. Well, Michaela, that's only because like <clears throat> the sun doesn't even want to come up, and Michaela's vlogging. Yeah, she goes like at five or six o'clock in the morning. I think it's insane. Hold on a second, I have to cough. Jody, this chair is from my kitchen table, and it sucks ass. It sucks. My my tailbone hurts. I'm gonna be rubbing my butt all night. Ooh, mm. some some people might enjoy that. You would. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you know how people uh they set their New Year's resolutions and it's like January first. It's a new year. It's a new start. Blah blah. blah. Like, why are you waiting? Uh, why are you waiting? <laughs> You should not be waiting. If you've got a goal, if you've got uh, plans and stuff like that, start today. Start right now. Like, what the hell are you waiting for? You know, a, a lot of people, they say, oh, I'm going to wait until the new year. We're so close, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, new year, new start, whatever. I think that's a good excuse for procrastination. Right? Don't you think so? Sure. I don't, I don't. And a lot of times, and a lot of times you set yourself up for failure because, you know, you have these big goals and these things, you know, it's like, oh, everybody signs up for a gym membership on January 1st, you know, because they want the new year, new you. And it's like, uh, yeah, but th that's, the, that's like a marathon, right? You have to train for it. You have to get your body used to it and stuff like that. And when you put the pressure on, 
at the beginning of the year. So you've procrastinated up to that point, you know, so you're like, oh, well, I'm starting on January 1st, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can eat whatever I want. I don't have to exercise. I don't have to do anything. And, and it just makes it that much harder when you get to that particular start line. So if you've got something that you want to do, why aren't you starting right now? Because I don't have the money. Barring money, stuff that you can do now to, to move things forward. You can write, you can art, you can uh, go for a walk now, you know, today. What if, um, my, what if my New Year's resolution is something like, I'm going to be nice to people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You said that with a straight face. Good for you. <laughs> it was hard. It was so hard. Uh, Michaela says the best way to start is on the worst day. That's when it's really tough. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there's always prison exercise. What the hell? <laughs> and my Jimmy says, how dare you? How dare you be nice? Uh, let me see. Yeah, Don, Don is laughing her ass off you. Well, I'm in better shape now than ever. Maybe I'll have a resolution to be nicer to people. <laughs> We're all on to you, Nita. We know. We know. Uh, Carl, you know what I need to do? I need to uh, get back on my munsies. But um, oh my god! Of all, the, dude, you want to? Of all the shit that was we a have, great excuse. We're back that was a going, great no, excuse to we go are, walking. So what? No, seriously. We are so far backed up. We don't have time for you to go play Pokemon Go for seniors. <laughs> like we just don't have it. Like we oh, we got oh, shit to do. We got campaigns to line up. We've got the the NFT shit going down. Yes, we we've got to talk about plans starting january that we haven't really talked about online we actually yet. do it's not it's not a new year's resolution it's actually plans to launch something in january you guys so but we are in the planning stages so yes we have begun the process um nfts definitely on uh on the board uh because we got to make some money and uh what better totally way than whipping out my kids talent Yes, and your husband's talent, and my, my talent, too. but I really think my and kids your talent, you man. have talent too. Mm -mm. Yep, my talent is taking twenty percent off the top. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it's working? That's how it goes down. I already told huh. Jaden. I was okay. like, I'm an adult. I'm gonna be handling the transactions. I'm gonna be doing the exchange. Uh, Meredith and I are gonna build for about raging takes twenty off the top. There you go. I like it. Uh, Jody is mocking us with uh, Pokemon Go for seniors. <laughs> no, but so seriously, I think that's something that we uh, that you and I need to put on the calendar is try to go for a walk, even if it's half a mile or something. Try to do some kind of exercise. Are you going to come make sure the kids don't burn my house down? Uh, that's what duct tape is for. Bunch of cords, Ooh. bunch of cords, duct tape. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, as far as I know, there's only one that would probably burn the house down. No, but seriously, the last time I went for a walk, you know why I stopped, right? I came home and Declan's nose was bleeding because Van had decked him. Oh, and was it deserved? Uh, well, I, who knows? Because there was no witnesses other than the boys and they're always like. Ah, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you better not. Mm, mm -hmm. Take the kids. Look with at y'all. Oh, Wear their asses out. Y'all think y'all clever. Y'all ain't been around these heathen. Mm -mm. Well, you had one child with you this past weekend, and you did a lot of walking. Did you oh, sleep yeah. good? Oh, I slept like. Oh, I fucking hit that bed, and it was like. <sighs> All right, but what about your daughter? Did you wear her out, or was she just like? Oh, she. Yay! We, we walked twelve miles Saturday. That's awesome. So, yeah, we walked all the way from the casino down to the reservation, showed her where we used to live, turned around, came back up. Yeah, it was a nice walk. And yeah. Senior Pokemon, that is that is Munzee, I guess. <laughs> yes. But you know what? I mean, here's the thing. Like where I live now, I'm about two miles from the park. And I don't want to walk around my neighborhood because we have some shady bastards that live in the area. 
So I don't really want to go walking by myself. Um, mm. So oh, I suppose a four mile walk wouldn't kill me, but who knows how long it would take me. And, uh, and uh, yeah. You better get a treadmill and a standing desk. You know what that's good for? Hanging laundry. Yeah. Been there. I had I've had exercise bicycles. I've had treadmills and stuff like that. The uh my father used to have a, an elliptical and things like that. And it was it was great once in a while, but not regularly. I'm dead serious. If I fucking put a small treadmill over there and a standing desk in the corner, I might would fucking you just use it while I was working. What is this? Like Jimmy, are you being are are you being unkind? <laughs> Want to catch Pikachu just kick his walking cane under him? No. No, that's not nice. Oh so, my gosh. So yeah, uh what do you, uh, I'm kind of curious uh, those who are tuning in because I know like we want to keep this kind of short. Um what are you guys planning? What are you guys working on right now and not waiting until 2022? You know, because hopefully 2022 will be better, you know, and it won't say, hey, to 2021, hey, hold my beer. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got stuff that, I mean, we're we're planning new stuff. Uh, we're expanding Ragin as far as services and things. Uh, mm -hmm. Launching a different show. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I am not even... Mm, no, yeah, you probably won't be there, but I will probably grab a couple of people that we know to kind of sit regularly. You can uh, have my you know, husband. Just to, to to tease you guys a little bit, we're planning on a Sunday show that is um, just kind of a hangout. It's I don't want to talk about Kickstarters or crowdfunders or anything like that. In fact, I'm hoping that we will have people who are in between campaigns or just want to hang out and have fun and, you know, um, chat for the sake Shoot of Shoot the shit. Yeah. Call you know, it it's just like, it, it'll be more like a water cooler kind of thing. Yeah. Like Sunday comics brunch was supposed to be before it was stolen from you. Before it was, uh, Hi, robbed. <laughs> robbed. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at what the devil just made you do. Oh man. I said it. I said it. Yeah. I remember. Cause I had, I had a show yeah, once upon a was... time. Yeah, it was a fun show. show. Uh -huh. and, he and then all of a sudden, I was just like, I, I thought I had a show around here. What the fuck happened to it? Got a hangnail. Mm. Oh, well. So, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to bringing something like that back. Uh, I'm uh, always in for hanging out on a Sunday. Yay, my Jimmy! Definitely, definitely. Uh, what is this about C2E2? Hmm. I'm working on trying to have a good C2E2 next week and not getting sick. That's what is right now that's awesome uh hope you have some really good sales uh michaela is saying i have a couple irons in the fire i jumped into ghost writing Ooh, nice uh there's something I'll, I'll talk about ghost writing in a minute so uh with that i have editing and my own damn book to get out that's right um not every stream is a shill definitely and that's what we don't want to do i mean we do a lot of shilling on this because it's part of like what we do as far as marketing and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we'll, we do have sponsored, uh, bumps. Um, we have curated bumps and stuff like that. Try not to tell people like who our clients are and stuff like that. It's kind of like a privacy thing, right. but, um, you know, I mean, we have, we have our favorites. There's a little bit of nepotism, no doubt about it. Oh, for sure. Um, We're the worst. but, uh, let me see. Uh, can we talk about why you shouldn't call yourself old then, Meredith? Why? <laughs> I embrace it. Look at these. I have white hairs. I've earned every single one of them. I love them. Okay? Don't take my old away from me. Um, in fact, I'm going to probably lube myself up with some uh, Icy Hot and have Ugh. that minty fresh smell again. <laughs> For a half because a my second, shoulder that was hot. Because my shoulder... <laughs> My shoulder is still screwed. Um, I have a dragon reveal coming up later today. Ooh, Ooh. very cool. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah, so, I mean, people who are busy tend to keep busy, and they fill up their calendars, and they don't make excuses and things like that. And don't get me wrong. 
everybody is entitled to a day off. Everybody is entitled to like. I know food. that's what I said, girl. <laughs> yeah, lubing myself up with icy hot. <laughs> Geriatric the foreplay. There you go. What, there you uh, go. <laughs> White hair is from <clears throat> other bullshit and not from being old. Tell the truth. <laughs> No, I've earned every single one of them. Oh, I totally know how I'm seducing you. I totally am going to do it. With uh, Icy that Hot. Mega Con and, House. Uh, and be like, hey, Mayor. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. bring the butterscotch candy, too. And I'm all hey, in. Hey, look, I got this one, too. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Totally fucking. Fully yes. stocked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whatever, your kink. Right. Uh, I smell so good, right? Yeah, yeah I kind of. Uh, with between my shoulder and my back and everything like that. I've been living with the mint and stuff. So when I don't have it, it's like something's missing <laughs> and it's not my deodorant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Just checking. yeah, I mean, what else are we doing? We, we've got uh, quite a few things. Kind got of a lot. Going we've on. got a lot of large uh, jobs coming up in the beginning of the year. Yes. We are yes. going to be balls to the walls. Fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Fun stuff. You know, and it was uh, kind of neat. I mean, this has been going on for a while for me personally, but it's almost like, hey, I, I think I figured out what I want to be when I grow up. You know, and, and kind of having that shit or get off the pot moment. It's like, what are we doing? You know, and like, as we, as Nita and I've been working on this, it's like this uh what we're doing is like really coming to fruition and mm -hmm. uh, you know i mean we've said it uh, on a bunch of our interviews it's like you know trying to build up a team and everything and uh kissing a lot of frogs before you get to princes you know what i mean or princesses and um it's um it's been a journey but with every interaction you learn something new and so if you can take those things and even if it's even if it's like a terrible or a, an uncomfortable situation, you know, don't let that don't let that deter you from what you're doing. Take it as a lesson and apply it to the next thing. But don't let it hold you back either. You know, just because it happens to you once doesn't necessarily mean it'll happen again. Um, everybody's different. Every client's different. And so are their needs. And so it's a matter of, I guess, communicating properly mm -hmm. and uh, and doing your research. You know, that was another thing. Like uh, we, we had a consultation last night and um, we're, we're not the only game in town. You know, and the one thing that I will tell anybody who's looking for any kind of team member, whether it is your uh, like if you're a writer and you're looking for an artist, if you are uh, a marketer, um, if you're looking for marketers, please do your research. Don't just jump on the first person that comes across your desk and just say, yeah, you're it. Um Ask Don't for numbers, lazy. look them up, check out their social media presence, because why in the hell would you pay somebody to promote you if they have no fucking presence online? Ask questions, though. You know, I mean, like I said, we, you know, we might not have everything that you need and stuff like that. Um, and we might not be the greatest fit, because quite honestly, we'll, we, we talk to our clients like we talk to you guys and um we're not yes people you know if we see something wrong we will express our opinions and things like that and and as the hired help you know it, it's like our word isn't the end all be all you know um but make sure that you are doing your research when you're putting your team together it doesn't matter what team you're putting together do your research on the people do they deliver on time um are they are they hitting the deadlines? Are they communicating with you? Are they willing to share your stuff on social media as well? Um, you know, there, there's just like a whole lot of different factors depending on what your uh, what your situation is. So keep that in mind. But research, take the time, you guys. I mean, especially if you're spending money for a service, especially when it comes to crowdfund builds always go and look at their campaigns like that they've built mm -hmm. go back look 
Yeah. Because that's going to be representing you. And, and so is, uh, you know, so are, so is art. So is your writing, you know, a anything that's out there, um, get referrals, um, look at reviews and things like that and see, see what's going on with the, uh, with the people that you're working with. Because when you hit that point where you're like, uh, you know, that shit or get off the pop moment when you're like, uh, I'm, I'm making a go at this, like a real actual go at this to see that, Hey, it's not just a hobby. I want to pay. I want to do this and pay bills. Or you know, I want to make a living uh, doing this. Um, all of that stuff is overhead. Make sure that you're spending wisely. Yes. On, on everything. Okay. Because it, at the end of the day, um, whatever it is you do, especially if you're an independent, um, all of that is overhead. So, you know, what can you do on your own? What do you need help with? And if you have to pay for it, make sure that you're getting the quality um, that uh, that you deserve. Make sure you uh, get your money's worth. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so going back to what Michaela was saying about ghostwriting, the one thing that I used to love about ghostwriting, I haven't done it in a really long time, is that uh, some of them, some of whom are soul suckers, soul suckers. And I'm like, oh, my God, thank goodness my name isn't on any of them, you know, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. Um, there And there are some things, you know, that I've written uh, as a ghostwriter where I was really proud. And I was like, damn, my name should be on that. But, you know, you, you get paid for the job. Of course, there are the ones that are like, <laughs> okay, um, really glad my name's not on that. Please never mention me. <laughs> That's the one thing about ghostwriting. But, you know, freelancers, oh, it's a hustle, you know, always striving for the next job. Uh, really hard to get a steady gig. And that's OK. Um, you know, you do you. You build out uh, what it is that you want to do. A lot of our people here are creative. Um, and. Uh, so, you know, whether it's selling books, whether it is commissioning art and things like that, it's uh, it's one of those things where. Um, you know, consider whether or not it's a hobby. If it's a hobby, is, is it something that you can turn into and make money off of it? It's, uh, you know, why not? Why not do that? So uh, we've got a lot of stuff that's uh, on our plate. I don't know where Nita went. And uh, good morning, Tina. Good morning. Good morning. The black T-shirt, then. That is my preference. <laughs> Speaking of T-shirts, my God, God I have it. to put in a T-shirt order, too. For what? Nita, you got some bouncing breastuses there. What you looking for? <laughs> Look, I don't have any cat. There's no wheels on this chair. It's not an office chair. Y'all start up a GoFundMe and get me a motherfucking chair. Oh, what if you're the one who's creating the jobs? Money bleeds. Yes. yes. Um, hmm. If you're the one that's creating the jobs, the, this kind of touches on the thing that I said before. When you are in a position where you're okay and you can help others, that's great. L you know, put your hand out there and help other people. Lift them up. Pull them up. Um, don't drag anybody because nobody, you know, nobody will care about your business more than you. <laughs> right. You know, nobody. <laughs> And, uh, you know, so that, that's the thing about finding that team, that cohesive team that is going to build you up and and take a certain amount of ownership for, for sure. that. So, um, yeah, that's really that's really important when you're the one that's creating the jobs, you know, like anything else, even freelancers, even, you know, just uh, starting out as a publisher or something like that. Put together your business plan. What are your expenses? Um, what, uh, what are your profit margins? Um, what is your overhead? What, uh, what's on your calendar? Hmm. Really start to, um, schedule those things out so that if you are a publisher, you want to have a, a flow of content that you can, um, crowdfund perhaps, sure. you know, get your website up and sell 
make sure that you have your uh, conventions and things like that that are uh, scheduled. So you have as many selling opportunities as possible. I've seen Michaela Jade, uh, you know, like uh, at outdoor fairs, in the mall, Farmers she's at market, conventions, whatever. Yeah, everywhere. It's just like whatever you can find for selling opportunities, you want to hustle. And, uh, you know, some people don't have the opportunity, especially now, like a lot of things are still closed, hmm. but things are opening up. Um, for now for now so um you know that's the thing it's like put your business plan together if you're going to make a go of it as a freelancer as a publisher whatever it is that you want to do even a comic book creator or a writer a full-time writer have that plan make deadlines for yourself um and and outline what your next month is going to look like what your next year is going to look like and um and then have like those projected you know like your five-year plan your 10-year plan and um think about those expenses really sit down and write it down i mean and i mean everything write out everything from projected postal you know postage costs uh to your uh shipping supplies to um you know, the time it takes to write, um, how many hours are you going to dedicate to doing it, what it is that you do. Um, and a lot of times, you know, when you're going out and doing this thing, um, whether it's freelance or just diving right into a bricks and mortar and stuff like that, um, make sure that you're covering your costs because at the end of the day, yes, uh, you want to hire people to do the job because you want them to eat, but guess what? You have to eat too. Right. So keep that in mind and really consider yourself as a business, really put together a plan and don't procrastinate and wait until new year's do it now. If it's something that is just even a twinkle of an idea in your mind work on it now start jotting down your notes start jotting down your plan and just do it you know dive oh, in i can check something off what can you check off schedule carl and donna oh <laughs> there you go <laughs> um but uh, Carl says he's got to go. So do we. Uh, we've got things to do. Uh, let's play a little bump so that we can give our friends over at Catch the Craze a little bit of love. For sure. And make sure that you head over to their YouTube channel and give them some love. We'll be right back after this. It's Monty Moore. I'm a 30-year comics veteran in comics, games, and movies, and you've been watching one of my absolute favorite podcasts, Catch the Craze. You are watching Catch the Craze. What am I listening to? And you're listening to Catch the Craze. Where are all the indies at? A Catch the Craze podcast. What are you watching? I'm watching Catch the Craze. What are you going to do? Subscribe now to Catch the Craze, the number one show online for independent. Have you subscribed to? You are an independent. Catch the craze. Making moves on your own. Catch the craze. On your grind in the streets. Catch the craze. Join the movement. Catch the craze. This we is got not Catch Tina the Craze. And Rodney. No, Ooh. Catch the Craze is so much cooler than this show. Yeah, you yeah, they totally are. You should totally and check it out. Why aren't they at a uh, at a thousand subscribers? I don't know. Daphne Lage is another one. Why isn't she at a thousand subscribers? She's got so much content on her channel, and she's adding more. Um, make sure that you get over there. Ronnie Vike, in fact, has a, a YouTube channel, as does uh, as do many of our uh, people who are here today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, so, good morning, good morning, uh, Facebook user. Declare yourself. Says later, guys. I don't know who who is that. Was it Donna again? Uh, Michaela says, tomorrow is not promised. Start today. That's yes. absolutely right. Uh, Carl Witzman is on his way out to uh, head over to Nevermind the Furthermore. That is Brian K. Morris's channel. Make sure you check him out as well. Um, let's see. Monday, Wednesday. Holy crap. What day is it? Wednesday? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, my gosh. I know. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So not only has like November disappeared, I'm like, what day is it? Right. It's just day. I live in day and I live in sleep. That's it. Um, 
So, Carl, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. Um, have a great day. Uh, stay safe, stay productive, be kind, hit the button, all that good stuff. Nita, what are you working on? Uh, Nothing. Mike Jimmy says he's going to be lettering new pages all afternoon now and jaw drop at awesome colors. Sweet hump day. It is, in fact, hump day. Uh, nine to five woes. Catch you all later. Thank you, Jody McPhee. We will catch you uh, later as well. And uh, drop your YouTube link if you would, you guys, um, so that people can subscribe to you. Um, For sure. Yeah, we'll we'll share that out on our socials and stuff like that. Really trying to get away from Facebook. Facebook is ass. Yeah, fuck Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Get fuck off that Zuckerberg teat. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> um I I personally like Twitter and I'm kind of liking LinkedIn, but I haven't spent too much time over there. I should. That's another social media site. Which uh, a lot of people think is like a, a hot mess. But uh, it's not bad. It's not as bad as it used to be. It's a little more organized now. Mm -hmm. it was Finishing the script for Roadkill too. Rampage 4 today. Nice. Oh, wow. That's cool. I need, to, I need to get writing. I haven't been feeling well. And like yesterday, I totally overdid it. Um, and I was in so much pain last night. I was just like, I'm not doing anything else. And I just laid down and I was out. Um, I actually you. had me considered, actually had me considering chewables, Nada. Edibles. Edibles. Hmm. And Pat was like, no, maybe not a good idea. Why? I don't know. Because it makes me paranoid. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll take a little paranoia over this fucking back pain any day. Mm. Yeah, you know what I have to do? Chair shopping. Yeah, let's get on that. Let's get some that's, fucking chairs. That's gonna happen. Let's get that's some next happen. day delivery shit done. Oh. If it says next day delivery and it's it's sixty percent off or more, fucking throw that bitch in a cart and let's get them motherfuckers. Speaking of which, um, what? next day delivery. I need to pack up a couple of things from the Luke Stone uh, auction. A couple yes. of things going your way too. <clears throat> so, uh, the Luke Stone uh, and family benefit auction. Did great. Uh, we already sent Beth like three hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, we We've can got a, some more today. <clears throat> well, we're waiting for one more invoice to be paid up. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath on that. He's well. I mean, they've got until the third. So uh, once the third comes and goes, we'll see if the invoice is paid. But we have uh, we have more funds that we can send. So yes, really cool. Thank you guys for everybody who participated. For sure. um, and we are being pretty tra transparent about it. I shared the. Uh, the uh, cash app transaction uh, on Facebook already. So she's got one payment. Uh, there are a few other people who are doing auctions as well. Uh, Shay the Red, thank you yes, so much. Red Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. um, so um, yeah, really cool stuff. I love when people get together and help each other out. And uh, you know, one of the things that we were saying about the auction is that we can't help everybody, but we can try one person at a time. Yes. And um, the next thing that uh, Nita and I are going to do is second chance auction for the items that did not sell. And for the people who have donated items who have agreed to put it up for a second chance auction, um, that will be out on eBay in uh, probably about two weeks. We'll have we'll have more There'll details be about that. things as well. But we are also uh, going to be sen sending something to... Um, 12 to 14 weeks? Fuck that nonsense. I can't do this for 12 to 14 weeks. No, no, no. I I'm looking at next week by the latest. Um, but... Oh, um, this is miserable. We're, we're also... Oh, shoot. I need to get to the post office because I need to send Russ the, the, the thing. The thing. So he, because if C2E2 is next week, he, he has oh, to have the thing. Yes, definitely. Send and him so, the thing. yeah, so we're, right. we've been teasing about it. We have not given out details what because it's so is, super freaking cool. What sucks is that's a package that really needs to be insured. Yeah, that's going out today. So I, I need to, I need to get going and jump on that because yeah. that, that's going priority mail. But and all. a number one priority. Let's get on here and let's find us some motherfucking chairs. Yes, sounds good to me. All I'm right, you guys. Dying. We're yeah, we're doing chair shopping. 
This shit's ridiculous. Yeah, my ass and my back is killing me. Mm-hmm. And, and that's terrible when when I, I love to work. I do. I love being at my desk. But when my chair is breaking my back, you know, and, and I'm just looking at it going, no, no, I can't. I just can't. I can't um, believe mine killed over like that. It was like, me. I'm glad your ass wasn't sitting in it. <laughs> me too. When it to break. Oh my God. She would have been like, back there whoop, and all you would have seen were feet. <laughs> mm, I'd have died. All right, you guys. Um, again, stay safe, uh, stay productive, be kind, hit the button, uh, follow um, follow people. Hit, you know, like seriously, subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to Twitter and other social media and stuff like that. Try something new. Uh, oh. Like really, when's the last time you did something for the first time? Think about it. Uh, on that note, we, sh- we need to get the heck out of here. Yeah, dude, let's stuff. go. We got stuff to do. You got stuff to do. All right. Um, as far as uh, freelancing and business stuff like that, really start to put together a plan, a oh business my God. plan. We're monologuing. <sighs> Fine, Nita. Final words. Don't be so redundant, redundant. All right. Uh, yes. Throw my dudes. Bye, guys. Hey there. This is Meredith Lochran with Ragin. And I wanted to let you know that we encourage and promote independent creators and their projects through organic interaction, consultations, and more. Visit Nita and me at RaginABC.com for details and contact information. Hit the button.